here with one third of the new cities. Right. My math is that correct. Is correct. Yeah. Very correct. Good, good. Now, I think you guys might be the most Canadian band I've ever interviewed because all your tweets are in French and in English. And I feel like I'm learning a lot more. <laughs> like school, you don't need to know how to say yeah. pencil, but your tweets are very interesting. It's pro proper Canadian, right? It's uh, bilingual. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, some of them are, are French, but I think it's mostly English, though, from what I can recall. Well, well we, still, we still do tweet in French sometimes because, yeah. you know, being from Quebec, we have like mm -hmm. a big fan base there. So it's like, I think it's just fair for them to, you know, to speak French. Yeah. yeah, we do speak French too, so it's just making sense, right? Yeah. If we would speak Italian, we'd be Italian too. So exactly. Why not? <laughs> it's nice because you guys do sing in English, but you have a huge following in Quebec. Mm -hmm. Did you have a French band growing up that you looked up to? Uh, I think I, I really like this artist uh, called Jean Leloup. Mm -hmm. If you heard of him, it's really good stuff. I, I listened to that while growing up. I think like my, my, my mom and my dad were like listening to a lot of French music, but me, I was mm -hmm. more into English music, right? I don't know, punk rock bands, but uh, I remember my mom was listening a lot to uh, Richard Seguin, yeah. uh, I don't know, like there's some old school classic, uh, Plume la Traverse, uh, Richard Desjardins, you know, name it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think, you know. It's not really bands, it's more solo yeah, artists, I guess. Exactly. There's this band called The Respectables. Mm -hmm. yeah. It first started in English and it turned to, to French, but uh, they're, they're a good band. Yeah. <laughs> No, I thought we'd do the interview outside because it was nice this morning and I thought this is perfect for heat wave, which I don't know how to say in French. It's not as nice today, but heat wave has been huge since yeah. it's been released. Yeah. How did that song come about? Was it an early one? Was it a late one? Um, I think it was in the middle of a song writing process, actually. I think uh, we had a couple songs down and uh, I think Chris, our guitarist, came with this cool riff and me and Jill were in Toronto uh, doing some promo or some like some more writing. I don't know. I don't remember exactly, but uh, I think I heard it on my laptop. Jill was like, "Dude, that riff is really good." So I started singing some melodies, and we um, went back. We got back to Montreal, and we started working on the song. And um, I think we got pretty much everything, like melodies, lyrics. And Jill was like, "Dude, you guys remember that song? You know, like oh, 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 oh. like, dude, that's so good." He's like, "I think it could fit in there for some reason." And it's, it's it was already a summer track, you know, mm -hmm. so. Um, yeah, we called a couple friends and like just, we just, didn't know. Like, like he was singing the, the words we had and then I just started singing that on top of what he was doing and we were like, wow, this makes sense, you know, mm -hmm. so, so we asked around like how, how it works with the clearance rights and all that yeah. stuff and, and it worked out. Like we, were, we found the, uh, the, the son's, uh, the writer's son on, yeah. on Facebook. Facebook. Really? Yeah, that's how it happened. Yeah. <laughs> it, sounds, it sounds much cooler in your song, I have to say. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if that's nice to say, but it sounds great. And Thanks. of course we watched your episodes that you guys filmed that were on Much Music. Yeah. And some of the album you guys record in LA and some in Quebec. Mm -hmm. Is it weird when you you go from LA to Quebec in the winter and you're recording a song like Heat Wave? Like, uh, is it, do you have to get in the mindset? Well, what's great is like I, I remember the vocal booth was in the biggest room at the studio. So, mm -hmm. and when we did uh, Heat Wave and there's another kind of summer track called Mock Shot on the album, mm -hmm. it was sunny, like bright, bright, bright. Like the room was so bright and really sunny. So, I think it just. You know, I could do it really well because it was sunny, but for sure, if it was going to be like snowing, it would have been kind of awkward. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> soaked up <laughs> in the snowstorm. <laughs> Seriously, guys, we need to fly back to LA right now. <laughs> I'm glad you brought up Mugshot because I feel yeah. that was one of my favorite tracks on the album. Nice, cool. And I want to hear that song on Jersey Shore this year. I feel like it's perfect. That, that's totally appropriate. Yeah, definitely. Well, maybe, maybe, you know, we can get paid. For uh, if they don't play it, cause yeah, that's what. No, we're gonna no. no but they're not. gonna they're gonna get their mug shots at some point. Yeah, probably. Sure. There's already been a few. Right, right. Yeah, but I'm, I'm not sorry, a big I'm fan of Jersey Shore. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a big fan. Not not really. Uh, I'm not familiar know. with it. But if, they, wa if they want to pay you, I yeah, would just say no. You no, know, we can talk. If you got money, we can talk. Yeah. So uh, the new album is out September 27th. Tell me about the recording process, because it's been a while since your first album dropped. Had you guys been writing on the road? Did you yeah. write in the studio? Yeah, that's the thing. We spent two and a half years on the road. Basically, uh, we wrote a bunch of stuff in, in, in between, but it really like we did the whole touring process, and then we had a bunch of ideas, topics, because we've been through a lot of stuff, obviously, through, mm -hmm. throughout uh, being on the road, like long distance relationships, with all that stuff. So we had a lot and of being, content. Being single now, yeah. you know, so we wrote a track called Sorry But I'm Single. <laughs> and, we didn't get our mug shots. No. Uh, that, that's fiction. That one is more that's like fiction. a story thing, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, or is it? <laughs> or, or is it? Um, yeah, so, so uh, basically we, we, we uh, decided like we, we got to go off, get off tour and then start writing. So we, we rented this space without no windows and we, we had this schedule. 
uh, so we had to be there every day at 11. It didn't work out, so we didn't just, really work. <laughs> didn't we work. did that for a week, and we were like so tired and unproductive. Like, yeah, it's like 9 a.m. We're like getting really late every day, and no, it didn't work. So after that, we just started showing up whenever it was. Yeah. So so we had about in maybe six months we had like four songs or five songs and then our manager was like like you guys are gonna have to start you know be more productive because we have, we have a record to release and stuff so we, so we, we said like let's book some 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 actual sessions in LA and stuff we can you know be more professional about it so we can I think it's it's not like we I think we have probably more tracks than than that but it's just like at some point you, you know you reach a point where you have like a, a good verse a good chorus but there's yeah. the bridge you still need to work on and like when you spend a full week working on a song you get bored a little tired and you're like your mm -hmm. creation is like creativity is like goes down and you're like man I don't know I don't like this song anymore so sometimes yeah. when you start working with other producers they're just like oh my god this song is so good and you're like seriously you like it they're like man wow let's work on this one so it just you know it makes it like yeah. more fresher objective. and new again you know so yeah. I think I think it's really cool if like bands bands should do that actually because yeah. it definitely helps and for the first time you guys worked with Greg Norrie and then for this one you worked with Blake Healy does it help working with producers who understand what it means to take a song from the studio to the stage that have been in bands uh... or is it just good producers are good producers <laughs> well good producers are good producers but uh, I think we're definitely the ones you, like we know exactly how the crowd is reacting when so like when we're writing music I think now we're thinking oh I was just gonna go live you know and mm -hmm. I think we we're really thinking about this uh, when we're writing this new record because like you know uh, first album is really fast like it's it's too intense I'm yeah. gonna admit like all our, our live shows were like just too crazy like too much energy drinks and it's like the crowd was on fire like for yeah. the first 25 30 minutes but after an hour you're like come on guys we're still on so i think yeah we got like we had slower a, songs on this new album and we were always thinking about yeah, that we had a clear vision of what we wanted to do uh, as far as songs and, and all that stuff so that's why we co-produced the record mm -hmm. yeah and we we had the opportunity to work with uh, blake in la just yeah. to do some 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 co-writing and some production stuff and so and totally linked like he knew what we wanted mm -hmm. knew, knew what he wanted so yeah. so i think it worked out the chemistry was there yeah so. definitely Oh, yeah. And you worked a bit with Pierre from Simple Plan as well. Yeah. You guys have toured together. How yeah. was that? And Chuck, yeah. Yeah, Pierre and Chuck. Yeah, it was great. You know, we spent like uh, one afternoon. We uh, we had a couple of ladies and we were just like worked on, worked on a song and it mm -hmm. did. It was, yeah, it's great. It's the song called Get Connected, and uh, the other one called Love Me Dead. So one afternoon, two tracks. That's yeah. It's pretty yeah? good. Now we're talking. <laughs> now we're talking. <laughs> <laughs> I actually I talked to Chuck and Seth right when their last album came out, and of course um, they had finally a French song. It was the first time in four albums, yeah. and they were saying that they've waited this long because they wanted to make sure people knew they were an English-speaking mm -hmm. band. They're not just a band that only does French. Yeah. Can you guys relate to that? Because you haven't done a yeah. French track, but it could be something in the future. But you just you want to be an English band. Here's the scoop for you. <laughs> oh. We're working on the French version of the song right now. So yeah, yeah really? it's gonna be out real soon actually. Yeah. Bilingual. Version. Yeah, bilingual. It's like we call it Franglais. Uh, so it's a mix, so mix of French and English. Franglish? Franglish. Franglish. So, yeah, it's awesome. It's a song called The Hype, so it's the second single. So, um, yeah, it's going to be available if you want to listen to the yeah. Franglais version. It's going to be out there. Very sure. Cool. Well, that was my next question. The next yeah. single, that'll be The Hype? Yep. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then, do you guys have a video in mind for it? Absolutely. Yes, we shot it a month and a half ago, and it's going to be ready real soon. And it's, it's crazy. I really enjoyed like yeah. shooting it. Lots of crazy stuff happening mm -hmm. in one video. I'm gonna tell you, like, you know, too much about it, but yeah. it's good. And right now, I'm very lucky because I'm seeing you guys in 3D. Yeah. But yeah, now yeah. your fans can yeah. see you in 3D. How awesome. Tell me about that. Well, uh, it's it's great. You know, I think we can, you can get 3D glasses at any HMV uh, all across Canada, yeah. mm -hmm. and uh, they're free. So it's on YouTube. It's called like TNC 3D, and it's like we got this cool um, bloggy. It's like a video camera that just shooting 3D so it's like really easy yeah. for us to do. Well you can go on youtube.com yeah. slash the new cities and, and there's this video we shot explaining the whole thing mm -hmm. so basically yeah you can get those 3D glasses. We're going to shoot it like stuff every week like 3D stuff. I watched it maybe nauseous because I didn't have the glasses. Yeah well uh, yeah. <laughs> you need the glasses yeah. for sure because else it's kind of like I can't see clearly <laughs> it's not 3D you know. 